My solder mask curing device has stopped working. I'm sure you all recognise this thing. It's the magic contraption that I put on top of the solder mask I've applied to a circuit board and it cures it very quickly with UV light. And I love it, but it's broken. And what it's supposed to do is you're supposed to press A here and it will count down 60 seconds and it will cure it with a lovely bright UV light that isn't there. Should be in there. There's absolutely nothing coming out of this thing, even though it is doing the countdown. Actually, it's it's not counting properly either. Yeah, it's coming up to nine and then... Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. It's almost like this part of the display isn't working either. Because that's supposed to, that's probably now on what, 35, 30, well, 38? I was going to play that through and just see if it does stop in, I don't know, another two cycles. Yeah, okay, so I, yeah, I hadn't noticed that, but it's, there, obviously there's something wrong with this display as well. So I'm guessing the two things are connected because it was working perfectly last week, and I've come to use it today and it's not working. So I originally thought it was just going to be the LEDs or whatever bulb they use in this to transmit the UV light, but now that I've seen that, I'm guessing it's something different. So let's try and crack this open. And as usual, no visible screws. <laughs> Slightly malformed, just a bit of a break from the norm. Just a little something to break the monotony of all those hardcore fixes that I've gotten to be. A little bit out of control, it's cool to solder. But what about some trace repair, man? I'm getting older. Give me a nice simple fix, and if it ain't broke, then why try and fix it? I think of the repairs in the past, adjust the part and make the discman blast. Pop in my CD and let me bust this rhyme. Thank all the patrons. Lay back, it's VOS time. VOS, VOS time. He's here to bust this rhyme. VOS, VOS time. If you've not skipped yet, there's still time. Back to Western and Sons, Flux, Canterbury. Man Cave Retro Gaming, give Keisha a chance. John Prue, Shig McAdams, it's cool to dance. Kill Switch, Jonathan Mix, put Bailey in line. Jonathan Hard and Mark, if it's 19, does that rhyme? Leaning to the side, but you can't speed through. Why is he still going? And we're into minute two. With a pen and a pad, I compose this rhyme. I bet you wish you skipped, cause this is VOS time. VOS, VOS. Time. Is it not over yet? Look at the time. VOS, VOS time. Monkey Joe, Tokyo, show me that peace sign. And we out. just come out of it there's a little piece of black plastic there i don't know i need to get that under the microscope hmm that looks like part of a chip doesn't it how on earth yeah that's a leg what the hell okay it looks like a chip has decided to split itself in half and fall off how does that happen what does that say is it why hmm right let's have a look at the board all right to get the board out i am gonna have to desolder some wires we've got the battery wires here and we've also got wires that run down to the the lamp so let's do that quickly oh i need to take a picture because it's not marked up Right, let's get this under the microscope and have a look, see what's going on. Right, so this is the side that had the battery on it. Those are the battery connections there, I think. Oh no, those are the battery connections. Oh, they are marked up. Right, okay, that's good. 
USB-C port. All right, it's nothing on there. It must be on this side. So there we've got a diode, a resistor, chip, chip, chip. Ah, ha. what the, what? How has that happened? Is it just overheated and it looks like it's melted the board a bit, doesn't it? And then we've got, yeah, bits of chip and that half still attached. I mean, what is that? Is that a, some kind of transistor? I'm just a bit, I'm a bit worried that it's damaged traces here because I can see copper there. I think I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to clean this up. A little bit of plastic there, I think. Hmm. I have to clean this up and, uh, see what's going on, I think. But how am I going to know what that chip is? It looked like I had a Y on one side. I think it's all burnt away. <sighs> right, okay. Let's clean it up. Let's clean it with some isopropyl alcohol. Well, that hasn't really helped. I'm still none the wiser. It's re really difficult because it's a black circuit board. It's hard to see. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's burnt right through there, doesn't it? And that trace has obviously now come off. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know how I'm going to fix it. Right, that looks like a bit of copper there. So does the track run from here underneath? And if it does, where does it go? I mean, we've got some more of those three-legged chips here. Well, that one's got a Y on it. Y1. Is that Y1? Or YI? Ah, I wonder if it's the same as that then. Right, there's a little bit of track exposed there, I think. So I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm hoping it just goes to this resistor here. Looks like it might do, but let's get the multimeter out. Multimeter, sorry. Oh no. No, it doesn't. So that piece of exposed copper there, where does it go? That is the question that I need to know the answer to. Right, well, annoyingly, I can't find that coming up anywhere. Okay, so now it is coming up there. But it wasn't... Uh, maybe I wasn't on it properly before. But it's possible that that's just... Now... I don't know. It's so hard to see. Well, now that is definitely connected to there. I wish I had another one and then I'd, I'd know for definite. I mean, I, I could try it, connect it from... You know, put... If I can get another one of these chips, put it on... Connect it up to the top of this resistor here. Because that's that's what it looks like, isn't it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the remnants of this chip off. It does look like a 1 there, doesn't it? So I'm guessing that is a Y1 transistor, SOT23, whatever it is. I'm going to take that off, give the area a good clean, see if it makes any more sense. But if not, I'm just going to have to go with what I can see now and see what happens. Okay, that's a little bit clearer, isn't it? So I think from here, this pad that's now missing should be connected to the top of this resistor. This one looks okay, this one looks okay. That chip had been obliterated. It was it obviously overheated. Maybe it was a manufacturing defect. I don't know, but it's obviously overheated on this pad here. So let's just check that resistor and make sure it's still okay. So it's 202, so what's that? 2,000 ohms? Let's see what we get on the, the old homage. Yeah. 1.9k. Right, let's see if I've got one of those Y1 things. In fact, I'll Google it first and find out what it is. Right, all the results for Y1 appear to come up with this SS8050 transistor. I probably do have some of those or something similar because I bought loads of little components over the, over the years. I'll have a look in my magic boxes. Yes, we're in luck. SS8050Y1 SOT23. Well done, past Steve, for buying those. Don't know why. I think it must be quite a common one. Well, they look the right size. And by the right size, I obviously mean incredibly tiny. That's one right there. And yes, it has Y1 written on it. Let's go for that. Why not? <laughs>
Right now I just need to run a tiny wire from here to here. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is a tiny wire. It looks like a tree trunk under the microscope. <laughs> Lovely. I mean, nice. Right, let's make sure it's on. Yep, well, that feels pretty darn solid. Let's check it on continuity. <whistles> Boom. Right, well, let's connect everything back up. Let's put the battery back on. Let's press these buttons and see if that display is any different before we put everything back together, I guess. Because if it's not, there might be another problem on here. And the battery is the one down here. Right. Yes, there's a zero there now, and there wasn't one there before. So that should count, it should go past 9 and go to 10. Boom! Right, okay, well that's that fixed. Now is it going to work? What I don't understand is how those two things are linked together. That not working and the lamp not working. But I'm just going to put it back together and see if it works. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> there it is. Get in. Let's make sure it does a full cycle. Circle. Circle of life. Circle of life. Stay tuned, guys. Boom shakalak, rude boy. Right, I'm very pleased with that because I love this thing and I do use it all the time. And now it works. Still not sure what, what went wrong with it, but something went wrong. It might happen again. Who knows? Stupid solder mask curing device thing. So come live. Circle of life